Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss and show you how we identify the element locators by using the Selenium BF driver. Let's first understand what is the element. So you can see I have opened uh, facebook.com and it's opened the home page. So here you can see there is an input box, password, login button, forget password, create new account button. So these are the elements of the application. Elements is any things where we can do any actions like click, enter, we can verify text. Okay. So all those is known as the element. If you want to enter the value in, into input box by using Selenium BAP driver, then we need to capture here some details so that Selenium know where it need to enter the text or where it need to click on the button, right? So the details what we are going to provide to the Selenium BAP driver, this is known as the element locator. What is this? This is known as the element locator. We can create multiple types of element locators, okay, which will locate the element by using Selenium BAP driver. What is the possible ways we can use to identify the locators? So let's discuss on that. So locating elements. So there are various strategies to locate elements in a page. Selenium provides the following methods to locate the element in page, right? There are two methods. One is find element, second is the find elements. Selenium provides two methods which will help to identify the locators during the execution of the test. What is the syntax? How we use these two methods? You can see there is a driver object. We need to use the driver object find element there we can pass the by that x path by the class dot x path, path is attribute and then the value of x path x path is locator kind of one locator if we want to use the find elements then we can call the driver dot find elements use the by that x path as argument and pass the x path value as of now, you can see I am passing here only one by that xpath, but we can pass here eight different attributes of a by class. Like the attributes are available for the by class are used to locate the elements on the page. Like here we I, I am using by that xpath. Similar type we can do more. So there are following are some attributes like id. So we can use the by that id. In that case, we will pass here the by by it. So ID of the element, we can use here by dot name, by dot xpath, by dot link text, by dot partial link text, by dot tag, by dot class name, by dot CSS selector. So these eight types of attributes and its value we can pass to identify the elements locator. Okay, let's see some example how we use these by dot ID, by dot name, by dot xpath by that link text, by that partial link text, all these how we use. So let's see. Here I have added one example. This is the PyTest example, right? Driver equal to driver dot Chrome, passing the Chrome option here. It will launch the browser. And then in the next line, I'm navigating the facebook.com URL. So now suppose that I want to capture this text to verify this text is available or not. So in that case, we need to capture, create the element locator. Okay. So here we have S2 tag. S2 tag is HTML tag where the value is coming. Right. So in that case, we can use driver dot find element by dot tag name then h2 tag okay so one of the by attribute i am using here h2 we can also use the different attribute 
like by dot xpath by dot tag name right other attributes we can also use here so i am going to one by one so that i can show you all the eight attributes and uh, this method return a wave element object so let's store in a variable element text we can use text method to retrieve the value right there is a text method so let me now run here the test so by test demo one okay i'm passing here providing hyphen s hyphen s basically this will help to print the value otherwise when we are running the pytest pytest will not print the console value on console if that's why i need to use hyphen s so enter test is running now right and uh, you can see here the value is printed so in this example i am getting the element by using tag name and passing the s2 tag so let's see the next example for the different attributes so here you can see the input box this input box has multiple attributes like name email id right so now we can apply here by that id also so let me copy the id go to the here driver dot find element by dot id and then pass here the id value it return wave element object let me store in a variable element user input and then we need to get type so let's call the send keys method and pass some email id yeah it's type here and we can also identify this element user input by using the name so here is a name attribute okay copy the name go to the code paste here the name value and change this by name why because now i am using the name so that's why we need to call here by that name let me run you can see selenium identified the locator and it's enter the value next we can also use here xpath so for xpath let's create xpath so input tag at the id equal to email okay copy this xpath and here change xpath now if we are using xpath so i need to call here by dot xpath yeah xpath is also working here so let's try with css selector so first css selector i need to create here css selector of element so this is the css selector so how we if you don't know how to create xpath and css selector so i have a separate video one uh, in one playlist watch all those video after watching that video your concept will clear and you will be good to create xpath as well as the css selector so copy this now add here and then change this attribute with css selector you can see here one at element we can identify with multiple ways by using id css selectors name tag name right yeah done 
similar type we can use the class name so class is attribute we can provide the class name in our test and it will find the locator based on the class so let's see now next what is the link so link basically if you can see anchor tag a and this is the text so this is kind of link and if you mouse over you will see your hand icon and if i click it will open new page right so if you can see here like some type links so this we can also identify by using some other attribute so let's see copy this this is the text right copy this and paste here here we can pass now link text so this is the link text attribute it will it return password link element now we can apply here click so let's run yeah you can see it's clicked on the link and you can see here the forget password page so you can easily click by using the link text okay so we can identify the element by using link text as well as we can also apply partial link text sometimes if we don't need to pass the full link text link text text is very large so in that case we can take some piece of uh, text from the link this is known as the partial like here i am uh, i captured only the forgotten okay and then passing here the partial link text so let me run yeah it identified and click so these eight attributes we can use to identify the element locators by using selenium okay any attributes we can use to identify the locators but best we can use the id if there is a id in the for the element second we level we can use the name then we can use the selectors like css selectors x path class name we can use okay tag name we can use link text we can use after the partial link text we can use so but on the top priority we will give the id name css selector as well as the x path so thanks for watching the video hope this video help to understand how we use how selenium is selecting the elements of a web page thanks for watching the video